Turmoil is surrounding an area basketball team after a fight broke out in Lorenzo at the boys game last night. It is the latest incident the UIL will be forced to investigate involving Lorenzo High School. The school's head coach and athletic coordinator is already on suspension over allegations of recruiting players whose eligibility was called into question at a Region 17 meeting last week. KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez joins us in the studio now to break down the meeting and last night's chaos on the court. Joshua. Well, Karen and Abner, tensions boiled over last night as the Lorenzo Hornets took on the Crosbyton Chiefs. With less than a minute left in the game, benches and part of the stands cleared as a fight broke out between players and parents. This was the scene in Lorenzo Wednesday night. A competitive basketball game turned to haymakers on the hardwood. This video of the fight shows a Hornets player in white throwing a punch at a player from Crosbyton. The chief responds with a punch of his own. That's when the benches and bleachers cleared. Officials and coaches fought to regain control, but the damage was done. The brawl will likely bring punishment from the UIL and school districts. Any actions taken by the league may not be the first or the last for the Lorenzo Hornets. The district already suspended Dion Mitchell, the team's head coach and athletics director, for the season. After allegations that he was recruiting players surfaced, punishment from the league is still pending in that case. After his suspension, this cell phone video provided to KCBD appears to show Coach Mitchell in the front row of a game against O'Donnell, giving hand signals to his players. On January 20th, two Lorenzo players went before the Region 17 board to fight for their eligibility, accused of moving schools for athletic purposes. Trayvon McCaslin transferred from Tulia, where he was a star player. The other player, Coach Mitchell's own son, Jakari Davis, who transferred from shallow water. The family's testimonies were emotional and heated at times. McCaslin tried to speak, but only tears came out. Coach Mitchell and his family claiming the meeting and any sanctions that came against them were racially motivated. Mitchell even storming out of the meeting at one point. Matt, can you talk to them? Because this is absurd. You got to do this racial with the OCR report. Do what, sir? I didn't, I wasn't The board initially ruled McCaslin ineligible to play his senior season, but in a turn of events, the board later rescinded their vote and agreed to send the case to the state committee. The same decision was made for Davis. Now we reached out to the UIL and both school districts about what happened on the court last night, but we haven't heard back yet. Parents close to the situation tell us both schools are punishing the students and parents involved, but the details of those consequences are not known at this time. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Joshua.